see the horse. Lalang. Ano yan? Ano dyan? Sige, puto ka, Beshi. Sit down, Jacob. We do a video. Yeah. Hey, Jacob, sit, sit right here. Jacob, sit right here. Right, that's fine. Right. Come here, look. Are we gonna go to the bus? Later. Oh, to this? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's gonna open. Uh, it's gonna eat me. It's coming. It's coming. Five in total. Uh, before we say, 
Say hello to our camels. Let's say hi to these guys up on the right. <laughs> Although, if you're wondering, Genghis Khan did actually try to domesticate these guys, but he didn't really succeed. Now, their indigenous Mongolian name is the Taki, so feel free to talk as many pictures as you like. So, I know it's a bit cold today, or very cold, but I hope you've all brought your bathers. She'll jump out and she'll come and peck at the antennas at the very front of the bus. But I think he's a bit standing on his own. Now that one zebra, his name is Atreyu. And Atreyu joined the zoo from Dubbo Zoo about a week ago. So he's very, very new. So he's just quarantining here for a bit before he can join the rest of those zebras. And also, all the Indian antelope they see there are boys. Which we can tell because they have very long horns and black fur. And the girls will have absolutely no horns. <laughs> so these guys just to the right of the bus here, these are the water buck. They're a type of antelope and they're usually very shy, which is why they're up here, away from all the other animals. Now, a bit tricky to see, but if you check out on their bottoms, you'll see those water <laughs> Uh, yeah, she is up the very top. Now, if you're wondering why Tilly is a unicorn, when she was very... A little bit about them. We've got two girls. We've got Kenzie and Marke. There's no one by me there. No, it's like the one in the front is saying about it. Oh, look, there's the middle tab here. So, the one with that really straight hair, that is Marke, who, like I said before, is kind of the grandmother of the group. So now we can see baby from Gilly, our baby zebra, a little bit better. Oh, baby Just over there with those front baby three zebras. Baby zebra. Oh. Close to about as tall as they would get in the wild. Oh. <laughs> around in rhino poop. <laughs> so all these big piles everywhere, they've been rolling around in that. Now the reason for that is because they know that lions love the smell of zebras. So they were trying to cover up the smell of zebras and hopefully smell like something else, like a rhino, which a lion would probably not. Mm,
Ipipid mo pa daw. Ay, mga ano na yung shape. Yes. Smell like a shape. Ayan, it's a little bit shape. Biggest predator is a crocodile, but they've got little glands underneath the skin surface, and they can excrete this oily substance into the coat. And it's so smelly that crocodiles won't even come near them. Just if you have any food or soft drink, you can please pack that away into your bags. Or dispose of the nearest bin, just with 